Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday where we sail the sun the sea with me Barden and Lady Sakura. Right, we're gonna leave here and we're oh well apparently we're gonna uh, maybe do this first. Um Okay, so we're gonna have to load straight away. That was an interesting start. Okay, so let's try that again. Leave. Not even sure we can actually do it in our current state, but we're gonna try. There's a saying, um, at least here in Ireland, that God loves a trier, so I hope the gods of the sea love a trier as well. Or of the under sea, at least. Only living ships made their hands way and survive. The hull shudders and crackles as the water grips it. The air trembles, the breath of change passes. Okay, well here comes the moment of th truth. Way upstream. They say that only the captains of a living ship can dare the water of Adam's way, but they've never met you. The mountain's blood, upstream of the river red, into the continent's heart with every mile. The red is deeper. The ship groans like a cal like Calvin ice. Great chance of challenge. The brave end. Okay, so we have to reload then and try it again. So we've got. I'm sure. I think it's with more mirrors we'd we'd be able to make it a hundred percent chance, but it's not. It's not a terrible chance to do it. So we're going to keep trying until we succeed. I would imagine, what is it, like 44% chance that in, so in three or four attempts, we should get one success. It's obviously not guaranteed because once there's even a 1% chance of failure, you can have um, a very long string of failures. And when, when it's more than 50%, the likelihood of it being a longer string is, um, is there as well. Like just like coin tosses, you can get, you can get heads like 10 times in a row, even though it's 50-50. Right, well, what happens this time? Azela raises her head, sniffs sharply, blood on the wind. Blood on the wind and blood in the water as well. Okay, so again, 44%. Forest and scene. In London, they never imagine what grows here. Orchards of bones, iron upright as aspens, flint pillars, fecund with faceted apples. Gemmed faces turn to watch you from the, the rock. Your crew are in trance. They begin to leave you one by one, slipping ashore when you moor, or giving themselves to the river. You are almost alone when you arrive at caution. The hundred tongued city, it fla its flowers shine like fruited ice. Pilgrim wakers uh, condescend to meet you. They give you gifts, an egg and a knife. Turn back, they tell you. The presbyter will not meet with you. You have not lived long, lived enough. Okay. How right they were, how right they were. You stand in the docks of the port, at the river's mouth, and look upon your empty ship. 
its scabbed sides, its paper thin hull. In your left hand you hold a knife, in your right hand an egg. So we've got a judgment egg. Um, let's see what we get. But, um, we gained 10 hull, that's good. Uh, we've only got one crew though, so we won't be able to outrun anything. Um, we got one judgment egg. We gained one at large in artifact. We got to touch this out, which is what we're actually looking for. We lost 10 supplies and we are um, returning to port. Okay. So, which port? Adam's Way. Okay, good. Right, so let me make a save there. Okay, so we've been to Adam's Way. We're then going to go to Port Cornelian, the other shroom. We're going to avoid the Iron Republic. Um, then, I don't think we... Have we been to Pigmo? We may or may not have been. We may have been to Pigmo. Um, but we're going to definitely go to Mo and the Cumin Canal. Okay, so let me check if we've been to Pigmo. So far, not seeing it. No, I don't think we've been there. Okay, so we just add that to the place we're going to go. Right, we have to be very, very careful going along here now. We cannot engage anything. Azalea raises her head, sniffs sharply blood on the wind. I think that was before we lost all the crew, so otherwise we would know exactly who it was. <laughs> so straight across here. Yeah. Okay. Don't like this thing here because it's a nice place for for the crazy bats to get you. Yeah, there they are. They are moving away though. Let's um, turn the light off. And try and sneak by. Oh man, this music. People are writing music for games. Can't believe how incredibly talented they are. To like be able to um, to write music that really invokes um, a lot of feelings in the player.
I think I've been lucky to have played a lot of a lot of games that have had good music in it down through the years as well. Rather than like, because I find like a, a lot of the triple A's now, um, like they, some of it they'll have like computer game music, but other times like they just have like things from the charts or because they want to do a like a hookup with with someone who someone who's like um, famous at the time or whatever and there's nothing wrong with that because I, I do enjoy do enjoy a lot of music outside of game music but just something when you're playing a game and and you know that piece of music is specifically written for that game the Cornelian coast far to the south the north roof glimmers above the mountain of light. Or oh, the neat roof. Obviously not the north roof when we're far to the south. So I think Avid Horizon is the last place we need to sail off the map at. And then there are other things we need to do after that, but we're making progress, that's the main thing. It's poor Canelian, hello there. I almost ran into the thing there. Right. Don't pan for sapphires. Um, let's see what we actually want to do. Let's seek intelligence first. If you have eyes and ears on the Canadian coast, you can use them to gain more than just the port report. The better your network, the easier this will be. The dangers of success. Your late agent considered this information worth dying for. You block her blood from the page and apply an old Assyrian cipher. She was not wrong. After a sufficient success, you'll often need to lie low or rebuild your network. Okay, so we've got a Z story, we've got a vital intelligence, and we lost part of our network. Okay, now, um, how's intelligence? What else we got? Let's call it the uh, Heartcross House, where the governor administers this distant fleck of Majesty's, Her Majesty's Empire, port to port. The governor is very, very busy. Natasha offers you a bowl of sugared puffballs, explains the work the governor does among the natives. Got to keep them happy, what? After all, they are tigers. Okay. Yeah. That as well. um, I think we might do. Behind the windows, um, spoons clink on China. So visit uh, Murgatrod's Imperial Tea Shop. Home away from home. They import the dollies from London, but the tea is local, blue and smoky. The crumpets are warm, the tablecloth's white. You could almost imagine you're back in Vale Garden except for the tiger lounging on a divan. It laps tea from an azure bowl and complains about the recent nostalgic trend in poetry. Okay, so we lost five terror from that. Now um, if we get some fuel and some supplies, maybe a bit more fuel. Okay, and then what about here? Um, right now we don't need anything here, so we are going to check our map. So next, I guess we should go to Zelo Town, right? If we're down here, yeah. We're just going to avoid the Iron Republic, I think. Okay, but that's going to be next time, I think. So for now, um, that is the end of that one. So I hope you have enjoyed. hope you keep me safe out there. I hope to see you next time.
goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right or checking out some other videos here on the left. Or perhaps you might even share with some friends.